In this demo, we'll show how PowerShell can be used together with Azure DevOps to achieve Power BI CI CD. So first, I have a empty workspace that is on shared capacity because PowerShell does not need premium to work. Now let's go over to Azure DevOps. As you can see, I have a couple of PBIX under the reports folder and a YAML file that is our build slash CI pipeline. So in the YAML file, it does two things. One is copy the file itself, and the other is put them into the build artifacts as published build artifacts. And you can build this out yourself um, by coding, or you can do this through the Azure DevOps UI as well. So now let's build the CI pipeline. We're going to do new pipelines and find our YAML file. And once it's loaded, we can just run it. Now our CI pipeline is built. We can go into the UI itself to see the login. Now the job has finished, we can see the artifact has been produced and we can find our BIX files there. So now let's build the CD pipeline, which is in the release part. So we want to build a new release pipeline and uh, we do an empty job. For an artifact, we want to use um, our build. So then for the stages, we want to say deploy to to dev, and then we can do the um, jobs. Here we want to add a PowerShell script. You can have the PowerShell script in your repo as well, but here we're going to do a inline script instead. So now we copied in our PowerShell script. This script does a few things. First, it installs the Power BI um, PowerShell modules. Then it uses service principle to connect to Power BI. And then it gets the reports from our build and then publish them to Power BI one by one. And once we are happy with this, we can add the variables, which is our service principles and the workspace names. Now we have our variables put in. You can also use variable groups and the integration with key vault to do this. We want to set our um, target workspace to be settable at release. So when we run it, we can change it if we want to. Now we can save and then create a release. We want to do deploy to dev and create. Now we can go to the release and deploy it. And as it runs, we'll see the uh, logs. As it finishes running, you can see the logs telling us that um, it has uploaded the PBIX to the workspace. And now let's check Power BI. And now if we refresh the Power BI workspace, we can see the reports being published there. 